when performing a rheumatological examination, you must look, feel and move every joint. For the elbows, consider the skin, joints and muscles. When looking at the skin, remember the mnemonic ears. Next look at the elbow joints for swelling and deformity. Nodules may also be visible. Okay, have you any pain in your elbows? No. Nope. That's good to hear. Next we move on to feel the elbows. First feel for warmth with the backs of your fingers. Compare left and right. Next check each joint for tenderness by compressing each elbow between your fingers. Palpate the medial and lateral epicondyles for tenderness. Note any swelling and the presence of any nodules. So I'll get you to move your elbows here. I'll get you to uh, stretch them out like this. Next, move the elbow joints passively through their normal range of motion by moving through flexion, extension, pronation and supination. Test for active movement by asking the patient to move their elbows through the normal range of motion by moving through flexion, extension, pronation and supination. So Luke, could I get you to raise your left hand please? Okay, and could I get you to uh, push your hand up against my hand there? To check for lateral epicondylitis or tennis elbow, Ask the patient to dorsiflex their wrist and especially their middle finger against resistance. This results in pain over the lateral epicondyle and tennis elbow. To check for medial epicondylitis or golfer's elbow, ask the patient to flex their wrist against resistance. This results in pain over the medial epicondyle and golfer's elbow. That's my hand. Any pain on the inside of your elbow? No. Okay, that's great. Thank you.